My name is Elaine, and I want to introduce you to the Artiste Cartridge, authored by Close to My Heart. It's almost Valentine's Day, and we have a great card book called Original. This card book is being reintroduced in a paperback form, so I decided to make my Valentine's with it this year. What's fun is it has many, many different patterns that you can use your scraps for. I've been working with the LaBelle V workshop, and I had a lot of little leftovers. But once I started, I even bought another paper pack because I absolutely love the color combination. Now, we are in a new idea book, so the LaBelle isn't available anymore, but I have a couple packs if anybody wants them for this Valentine's Day. Um, the directions in the original book, and also our other how-to book, give you a picture and a pattern to follow and it gives you all the dimensions and the how-tos. So I did this on page 122. It's called Stage Right. And I did little cards. Little cards of 3x3, three three, which were the directions. Then I just doubled the dimensions and did a 6x6 six six companion card. That way I can send one in the mail and then I can have little gift cards available too. What I'd like to show you today is how to use the Artiste um, for Valentine's Day, and I thought a little mailbox would be cute. So, I have made using extra paper. Let's see. This is the beautiful black paper with mauve. Outlines. Our cardstock is two sided, so it has two colors. So one side is a black with a mauve, the other side is sort of a blushy color with polka dots. Now these are my pieces for a mailbox. Now it looks a little boring because they're all the same color, but remember, our paper is reversible. So you can see that will be highlighted um, with the other color on the side. So you can pick if you want a light color Valentine box or if you want a dark color back Valentine box. Now sometimes when I make patterns, I will do a little practice on either white cardstock or sometimes craft cardstock. And since a lot of my clients are using the mini, I decided to make a little miniature um, Valentine box too. And this is my trial with craft paper. Now we'll do it using Cricut Craft Room. And when you use our paper, it has a little zip strip. So you want to cut off the zip strip and save it for decoration. And the Cricut Mini only takes 8.5 by 11, or 8 by half by 12 paper. So So because it only takes 8 and a half by 12, cut it down before you begin and attach it to one of your mats. I've pre-designed my um, pattern on Cricut Craft Room, and you can see many colors. And it's all going to cut on this one piece of paper, but um, I'm going to begin the cut, so it will... Let's see. Just make sure I found that um, it was a little bit too deep, so I'm going to change it to a medium weight cardstock. I had heavy the cardstock on it for the craft paper. Okay, so my first layer is going to be the mailbox. We'll see if you can hear me over this noise. I'm not sure if you can, so I might repeat this twice. I used the letter A on the artiste and it had a 3D button or 3D property, and that's what gave me my main mailbox. With a shift, it gave me the arrow. And then you go to the card, and you get the reinforcement part of the front part of the mailbox with a shift. So you can get all of it on one piece of paper, and you just set the size one time. And I use the maximum size that would fit on an 8.5 paper and a 12 by 8 paper. Paper. Actually, the 12 probably could have been a little bit bigger. 
But what I'd like is a little box that fits my 3x3 three three inch card. The other way to make it larger would be use a 24 inch mat to change the orientation. Now remember the scores on all these and you can just gently fold them in. I would encourage you to use liquid glass to cut them, I mean to paste them. And what's nice about the Artiste, it has all your little score lines there. So you can decide now, do you want a dark colored mailbox or a light colored mailbox? And then you can decorate as you like. Now, this cuts one layer at a time, so I'm clicking it. You can adjust it to do more, but okay. this will give you an idea how big this box is. And I think these little three-inch cards will fit in very nicely. So that would make a real sweet present for your loved one. Before I take it off, I'll just show you our workshop on the go that went with this. You can use this in other colors since this paper is going to be um, gone now, but this is a beautiful layout using the LaBelle paper, and I just love how these muted colors look great with black and white. Okay. The joy of the cricket is you can be doing other things. Sometimes I actually do exercise while I'm waiting for the all cut. Um, you can do anything while it's cutting as long as your paper is down to the floor. Almost done here, and I'll show you the finished result. So even though I added that, reloaded that paper because of the positioning planned ahead on Cricut Craft Room, it worked fine. Now with Cricut Craft Room, Unless your cartridge is linked to your own account, you do have to put a cartridge in your mini. If it's linked, you don't even have to do that. So it's a nice way to design. Well, so now let's finish in cutting. Um, Chroma Craft isn't going to be making the gypsies anymore. I still have one more to sell. Um, but I absolutely love it because when you're elsewhere, you can design. It saves a lot of time. Okay, so let's see what we have. Gently remove the background paper. And here we have some mini hearts. You can see it has three different pieces. One, two, three for each of those hearts, and these are solid. So what's nice about that is you have a variety. And remember, they're two-sided. So you can decorate them. Let's grab and twirl a bit. Be using Latula. You can decorate the colors um, using our beautiful two sided card dot. So I will post at the end of this video a completed project. Have a good day. Have fun making something special for your precious family.